And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. Cool with you. Uh, you know, there's been the allegations, obviously. Do you feel that... Vince is already guilty in the public's eye and that that due process is almost like pointless to the public. Like, let's say somehow he's declared innocent of all of this. What do you think about that and what the reaction will be? Is his legacy destroyed? Um, Yes, without a doubt, his legacy is destroyed. Uh, But I think the worst thing is the difference now is that you have a battle for his empire. He's getting old. He's getting, you know, he's breaking down. You got, uh, he screwed over his children he you know he came back he broke a uh it, it, there's a lot of anger running around that family um so i'm sure it's a couple of them that don't mind this happening because one daddy left the show he's not there no more and um i feel like uh he doesn't have them as allies like he used to have them for the for those who would challenge you and say that Miss Grant took money and and seemed to be a willing participant for not not weeks, not months, but apparently years. Do do you completely? What is your opinion on her? Do you completely side with her before the due process? I mean, I don't side with her not even a tiny little bit. I don't side with her not even a tiny little bit. Okay. So so how do you feel about her? I feel like uh, she's pissed because someone uh, stopped paying her tons of money. Um, Okay. It's like uh, it's like. Like you said before, that she 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 wasn't the R word, um, and she uh, got into a lot of situations, but she stayed in them. She was part of his life. It's obvious that something happened. They broke up. He paid her, but his but he was stupid to stop paying her. And uh, then she came back. I mean, this is really Vince's fault. All he had to do is continue paying her, and it and it would have never gotten to this point. But for some reason, so, Vince got cocky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can I ask Vince you, Vince got cocky. Do you, yep. Let, let me ask you this. Do you believe that Vince McMahon, for this case, all, all, if it's possible to answer this question, please try, all personal experience aside, for this case alone, do you feel that if Vince is found guilty, that he should go to jail for something like this? At, at you know, with all things considered, this isolated case, what do you think? Absolutely, unequivocally, no. Okay, interesting. But Let's I believe on. he Tell should be why. in prison for the rest of his life. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so you Vince should be in prison for the things that he did, for the things he's in done past. in his life and gotten away with. Yes, in the, the past, past, not this. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, Mike. So, so, Lee, elaborate a little more. So we understand that you, not that you're siding. This, we have a moral issue here with Vince in this present situation. Um, what thing do you think Vince should have went to jail for? For. Uh, Knowing that he had men in his company that were uh, taking advantage of young boys, knowing that Mel Phillips was uh, had a problem with the boys and firing him and hiring him back, knowing that Terry Garvin had a problem with boys, knowing that Pat Patterson was sexually abusing his workers, going around licking his lips and crotch, and he had no problem with that. A matter of fact, he wanted Pat Patterson to come back even after uh, he did what he did. Uh, you know, and. and Anything that has to do with that case that he did not get, uh, and it's not even a case because of the fact that um, uh, it, it was settled. But the fact of the matter is, he is guilty as hell for what he did. He he, he looked over an empire that was uh, uh, going at the children, taking children across state lines for the purpose of working, paying children, four, 13, 14 year old kids to set up rings. Uh, I just read an FBI file where they've seen a tape, a video. They actually have a video of Mel doing that stuff that people accused him of doing. Um, but then they decided that we wanted, to, and the feds decided we wanted to go for the for, for the steroids. The hell with the kids. We'll do the steroid thing because that's a lot easier to win. 
So and they people, lost that too. For people who are wrestling fans that never got in, like, I'm surprised that people are still out there that don't know about the Ring Boy scandal, which, you know, your brother was clearly the main focus of this. Um, can you go a little deeper of, to what you're, you're talking about with Mel Phillips and Pat Patterson and your brother? You know, again, we've done the show. We've discussed it. Your, your sister was in studio. Very wonderful, uh, wonderful lady. But for the fans that really don't have a clue what the Ring Boy scandal is about, can you give quick bullet points about how your brother got involved and what eventually happened to him? Yes. Okay. So what my brother, we come from a broken family. We, we, uh, we had an alcoholic mother or father that was never around. Uh, what Mel get, well, what Mel Phillips used to do is he used to prey off kids from broken families, 13, 14 years old in general. And he would go and find those boys, become like a father figure to them and start taking slow advantage of them because he had a foot fetish. And then he would, they would pick out out of the group of guys, they would, they would bring in tons of kids, but they would only pick out uh, a couple kids. And like Epstein, they always had one person that would, uh, uh, they would have like a kid, one that went by the name of Mrs. Phillips, that would go out and look for these boys. And then these boys would come back. And so Mel got his jollies off with these kids uh, uh, with his foot fetish. But what he did is he worked it up the ladder to uh, Terry Garvin. Terry Garvin liked the boys when they turned 16 and only certain ones. Uh, he, he, Terry Garvin, would, uh, Mel Phillips would tell Tom that, uh, that Terry liked him because, he, because Tom played hard to get. And when the time came, Terry Garvin uh, came on to Tom. Uh, Tom said no. Tom got fired. And then a couple years later, they brought Tom back again to work in the warehouse. They promised him that he would not go through that issue again. And once again, Terry Garvin offered him, uh, lied to him and said, come to my house. My family's there. Tom thought his, the family was there, got to the house, and it's just Terry Garvin. And once again, Terry Garvin's making his move on my brothers. My brother goes out and sleeps in the truck. They take him back to the warehouse the following day, and they fire him. Mel Phillips said to him his exact words, you know how it goes around here. And Tom said to him, well, because I wouldn't sleep with him, I'm getting fired. And Mel said, yes. That's what happened. So and then Mel Phillips, they knew that Mel Phillips had a problem with boys, and they fired him. And then a couple months later, Vince brought him back. So that tells me that Vince brought him back because Mel had something on him. And then, then so he comes back. And uh, those guys, when my brother's lawsuit came out, Mel Phillips, Terry Garvin, and Pat Patterson all stepped down. Uh, they fired. Uh, uh, Pat Patterson came, eventually came back because... My brother only wanted his job back, and they gave him his job back. But once again, they gave him the same old harassment, trying to make, they were having him sign contracts without lawyers being present. Uh, they had me arrested. Uh, they, had, they had our best friend, my brother and, and my best friend. Uh, uh, at that time, I had a felony warrant, turned me in, and I was right, arrested. But, and, all right, uh, but Lee, I don't want you to go through this so fast, right? So I, I'm going to challenge yeah. you with some questions that in the first go two times it. we spoke about it, Kind of, and even with your sister, some of the things weren't answered. So I'm asking you to try to do your best to answer this. Um, at the second time, was your brother, okay, at the second time, if your brother was sexually, uh, had sex with Mel or Garvin, was he of age? At that time, yes. He, okay. he was 19 years old. The next question. What does that have to do with anything? What, no, I'm trying to lead to something. I'm not okay. saying that's okay. I'm just trying okay. to establish something here. That's At like saying point, a woman turns 19, it's okay to sexually harass no, her. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. But I'm saying that um, if I'm attracted to a woman or I'm attracted to you and I approach you, right, and say, hey, Lee, I really like you. And, you know, I, I, you know I'd like to go out with you. Um, is that, that's, 
again, it, that's not really offensive, right? It's like I'm I'm attracted. I'm 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 approaching you. Um, when you use your job, you know, your brother wants to keep his job and you're using that power. That's a different story. I get it. But the first time we spoke, I felt like your brother was more upset that he couldn't believe that another man was hitting on him. And he was, you know, your brother was a strapping young man, a macho man. Was that the issue? Or did it go further than you guys have ever told? Well, we, 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 we know things that, that we don't talk about. And those are very personal things that we won't talk about because there's no sense in talking about it. But the fact of the matter that you work for a company and the company uh, harasses you, um, and then it, not only do they harass you, they tell you if you have sex with us, we, you can keep your job. If you don't have sex with us, we're going to fire you. Mm -hmm. How hard is that to understand? No, that's a problem. That's a problem. But just like, just like um, Miss Grant, right? This was Big going difference. on. But then you guys went to WrestleMania. Your brother was in the Donahue audience. Like this, yes. there's this miss. There's this miss here, right? It's like, why didn't your brother like get the f out of there? I'm out of here. Just like Miss Grant okay. should have said, I got to get out of here. Okay, I can answer that. Sure. One was one was a young man that that wanted his job back. He was always in the world of wrestling. Vince McMahon came along and talked to him. Vince McMahon said to Tom, I know what you went through, Tom. I was molested too. Uh, we're sorry this happened in your company. In our company, we will give you back pay. And that's exactly what they did. They gave him back his pay that he lost from the time uh, that uh, he left the company after Terry Garvin went after him. And then when he come, okay. when they went back to the company, okay, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was just saying, okay, okay. keep going. Okay, so when he goes back to the company, uh, he gets harassed continuously. They bring him in the office to sign contracts. He doesn't want to bring Pat Patterson back, uh, but he has a contract put in front of him. He starts signing contracts, and then he gets fed up with the contracts. And when he doesn't want to sign a contract against me, uh, they basically said that myself and Phil Munchnik, who I did not know personally, plotted together to bring down the WWE. And that was in their lawsuit against uh, the New York Post. My brother knew that was bullshit and refused to sign those papers. When Tom wanted to leave the building, they locked him in. They wouldn't let Tom had to go down into the went by the security area and cause a ruckus in order for them to take him out of the building. That's what they, this, these people are evil bullies. That's what they are. And, and these were sexual predators that were working for them. How much more has to be said? Uh, it, you cannot compare this woman to those boys or those kids, because those kids were groomed from the age of 13. How many of those kids do you think were actually molested? How about Mrs. Phillips, who was a young boy, and they teased them and called them Mrs. Phillips? How about the mm. fact that Pat Patterson would walk, walk in front of my brother and lick his lips and stare at his crotch? Or he was known to grab ass cheeks and crotches or leave keys. And, and if guys wanted to advance in the company, they'd go up in the room. They would go up in the room. And a lot of guys went up in the room with him because uh, Pat was a catcher, not a pitcher. 